Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are here to see four more modifiers for the CAD. I decided to do all four of them in once just because otherwise the video will be too short. So let's start immediately to draw something. First example, I'm gonna show you uh, the cut element which is equal to the trimming function in AutoCAD for those of you that know the software. We can draw a circle for instance. Let's draw a couple of lines. One and two from the center. Then at this point we are ready to start trimming. We can select everything modify and then here is the function cut element here you just need to click to what uh, you would like to remove so that's it we cut a slice off of the circle okay let's get rid of that we can uh, start to see the next. So let's say we have imported a file that is like this one. So let me enable ortho just to make sure I'm going straight. Okay, let's say we imported this file, the, these geometries, and it can be this one, a rectangle, a panel with the grooving and maybe we want the grooving to start exactly from the edge and to finish on the edge which is not this case we can use the element extension in order to fix it so we can go and modify we have to select the geometry we want to extend first just because otherwise the software will give you an error and then we are ready to start selecting the function which is basically here where the cut element is just click on the arrow is the second one element extension and at this point we can click on the geometry where it needs to be ended now if you want to do the same thing also on the other side we can again select the geometry select the function and select where we want to be ended so we have seen quickly also the second function let's get rid of that and go to the next actually to see the next let me go back because we can use our circle the next function will be extend path and we can actually decide how much it has to be extended so these as uh, you can see here I'm using the metric system so it's how many millimeters you want to add or we can even subtract to this uh, geometry so 10 so if you click on it, you see is adding every time I click on it is adding 10 millimeters. Of course, if we go negative, the software will subtract 10 millimeters each time I click. Is enough. 
The last one will be corner extension. So we need to have something that has to be closed. So the circle is not our case. Let's draw a couple of lines. Actually, let's draw three lines. And we can easily create corners using our fourth function, which is corner extension. And just clicking on the two entities, on the two geometries, as you can see, I clicked on the first one, so it's red, it's selected. And when I go over the second one, the software is already showing me what it will do. So if I click, I'm going to complete the command. If you want to do the same thing here, you can just keep going. And as you can see, it's creating the corner. This is it for this video. I hope this was helpful and see you at the next video.